This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Sandeep and Chakravarti. To promote tourism in Arunachal Pradesh, Chief Minister Pema Khandu, along with Union Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju, undertook a 107-kilometer all-terrain vehicle ride from Patso Lake to Mago Village in Tawang District along the Indochina border. The Chief Minister drove the ATV on snow-covered areas and steep inclines. Kandu and Rijiju also joined the army personnel posted on the border and celebrated Diwali with them on Sunday. Sharing details about the trip, Kandu tweeted videos and photographs of the ATV journey. Rijiju complimented Kandu for his driving skills. The duo visited the men of the 18 Kumayan Regiment posted at Tawang and attended a public meeting at Mago. He also spent time with the Arunachal Scouts. The Chief Minister said that development of the country will be possible only when villages are developed. He said that border people are the true defender of the country. Ek Bharat Seshta Bharat program has brought in the states of Nagaland and Madhya Pradesh as one to celebrate the spirit of national integration through a deep and structured engagement between the two states. The Nagaland Directorate of Higher Education as the nodal department of Ek Bharat Seshta Bharat has conducted various activities in partnership with Madhya Pradesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's idea of sustained and structured cultural connection between citizens of different regions of the country through Ek Bharat, Srishta Bharat has seen a positive impact between the state of Nagaland and Madhya Pradesh. With Madhya Pradesh as a partner state, Nagaland has an opportunity of sharing and learning knowledge of culture through various activities undertaken by the nodal department, the state directorate of higher education along with arts and culture, tourism, industries and commerce. President Ramnath Kovind has appointed Justice Sharad Arvind Bobde, Judge of the Supreme Court, as the next Chief Justice of India. Justice Sharad Arvind Bobde will take oath as the Chief Justice of India on November 18th. He will have a term of 17 months till April 23, 2021. A judge since 2000, Justice Bobde joined the Bombay High Court as an additional judge. He was appointed as the Chief Justice of the Madhya Pradesh High Court on October 2012. In April 2013, he was elevated to the Supreme Court. Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports Kiran Rijiju said that the country would participate in the forthcoming 2020 Tokyo Olympics with full-fledged preparations. Speaking at inauguration of a world-class hockey turf in a private educational institution in Chennai, he said India aimed at getting gold medals in the 2024 Olympics in double digits and to reach the top 10 position in the 2020 Olympics. He said more than 14,000 young students have been identified with the potential to excel in sports and are being nourished to become world-class players. Rijiju also said that in the new education policy, sports will be an inherent part of the educational system rather than being treated as an extracurricular activity. Run for Unity will be organized all over the country to commemorate the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Lakhs of people from more than 700 districts will take part in the event. The national level function of National Unity Day will be organized at Kevadia, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi will pay homage to Sardar Patel at the Statue of Unity. Unity Run will also be conducted at Shillong and Tura in Meghalaya in collaboration with the respective district administrations. In Arunachal Pradesh, the 7th edition of the Tawang Festival is being held with much fanfare and fervor in Tawang. United States Ambassador to India Kenneth Jester declared the festival open. Union Minister of State for Sports and Youth Affairs Kiran Rijiju was also present on the occasion. The U.S. Ambassador was impressed by the colors, traditions and customs followed by the people of Tawang which offer other parts of the world to learn and know. He also emphasized the need for cultural exchange program between the two countries. Chief Minister Pema Khandu said that with proper planning and investments, Arunachal Pradesh has the potential to become the most prosperous and happiest state in the country. Four-time Asian medalist Shiva Thapa secured a medal at the Olympic test event for boxing in Tokyo by winning his quarterfinal bout yesterday. Six other Indians made the last four stages without even stepping inside the ring. Thapa, 63 kg, overpowered local favorite Yuki Hirakawa in a 5 nil verdict to, five, to fight his way into the medal rounds. He will be up against Japanese Daisuke Narimatsu in the semi-finals today. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.